fucking mean it's a voxel. Do you get me? It's a voxel. Nah, you've got to find out about this. This is already the best fun I've had in a voxel. We've only just sat through the car wash. Let's go. So Centurion Automotive have given me a Vauxhall, me, a Vauxhall, but 6.2 litre V8 LS3 engine Vauxhall. It's mad. Now, I, I'm blown away. The VXR8 is actually an absolute beast, monster, crazy child of the Vauxhall world. And we're gonna review it during this video. So keep watching and find out a little bit more about the video. But right now, me, Scoot, and Lewis are on the road, first stop, ship my car. And already, there's a Brabus Jimny behind you. So taking over the camera once again in today's vlog, we are at Ship My Car, another petrol headensome sponsor for the whole year and in collaboration and we are back and there's more cars, different cars this time uh, since me and Chiro last went and check this out, a 300 SL which looks absolutely unreal and of course it's not just supercars. And as we know, if it's not just supercars, it's nothing to do with my knowledge. There's a lot of American cars here, which is definitely down Chiro's Road. Uh, for me, it's just, what I love about this place is seeing all the cars come across the world with like American plates. You've got all the US different states and everything, and just seeing them on different cars. Last time I went, there was a hurricane from New York. These 300 SLs, I'm not too sure where they come from, but it wouldn't surprise me if it's somewhere in Europe. It's such a cool place, literally, and every day, as I'd imagine, they'd get cars coming in and in out, and um, like here, they'd convert them for like road legal, do all the paperwork, and yeah, it's such a cool place, and I hope I can show you guys some B-rolls and some of the cars that are here today. I am with Lewis, and he has got the drone up, getting some very cool B-shots of some work I'm doing with Ship My Car, and today, the vlog with Petrol Hensum. And I tell you what, Lewis is killing it with the drone, um, and I hopefully I can show you guys when it comes out as I mean we couldn't really ask for any better weather but I'm hoping these shots will come out perfect. So here we go. Ship my car we're done. Amazing plethora of American beauties that I absolutely love but the jewel in the crown today is the 300 SL, which I know Scoot showed you around. And we love it here, absolutely love it here. Right, off on our travels to Petrol Hedonism Performance and Motorsport. That's our next stop in the VXR8. Let's go. Right, Scoot, we're just about to leave. We're just gonna put this in before we get on the road, but I've just found a V16 LS6 12.4 litre Monster. We've just had another VXR8 Australian version turn up back from IVA. This Holden is that car, but from Australia. That's mental. How random is that? Right, we've got this from Centurion Automotive. It is possibly the best driving car I've had from Centurion, and I can't believe I'm saying this. It's a Vauxhall. The seats are really comfy. The car is so planted. The center of gravity feels low. It's just phenomenal round corners, roundabouts at 45 miles an hour. Look at sound. <laughs> Pop, bang, bang, boom. So Scoot, I've just had a message and yeah, the reason why this VXR8 is so loud, so special, so well planted is because it's got monkfish performance coilovers. I've got to read it because it's got loads of stuff going on. It's not straightforward. 
It's got a custom exhaust system with cross pipe straight through and then it's been mapped as well. So this isn't a normal VX, all right, but for the money this is up at, just under 40,000 pounds at Centurion Performance, that is one hell of a car. And at under 50,000 miles on the clock, modern classic, and it's only going one way in value. It's rare, it's a monster, and it's a freaking good car, so check it out. While we're here though, we're gonna get an update on a GT4 wannabe, I can see it over there. And these are the new premises of Be Cool Air Conditioning Services, where we're gonna get regassed on a VXR8, and the brand new, renamed, rebranded, petrol organism, performance and motorsport. Let's go have a look inside, Let's go check out the GT4 Nobby and get an update. Here we are, it's the home of petrol headings and performance and motorsport, Euro car repair, and of course, Be Cool Air Conditioning Service. The business of Dave Fry, a good friend of ours, and they've rebranded under the petrol headings brand. Check out the logo, cool V12 Lambo. We had that here for the grand opening the other day. Let's pop inside and have a look around. Oh, I've got my bag, because I'm gonna go sit in my office. Did you hear that? Yeah. Let's go find the GT4 wannabe. There's the GT4 wannabe. Engine is kaput, but we're gonna rebuild it bigger, badder, and better. We're boring it out to 3.8. We're going polished and forged everything. We're going baffle sump. We're gonna bring this up to as close as a GT4 as we can do. The performance is gonna be phenomenal, and we're all doing it here at the new. Petrol hedonism, performance and motorsport. I need to find the rest of it, come on. Ah, there she is, there she is. Do you remember you were in the bonnet of it last time? Put that little VO back on it, yeah. So, I'm in the GT4 wannabe, nice and secure. Cheer it, it's still broken down. Ah, oh, look, she's still got my last Red Bull. There you go, look. Massive hole. So final stop of the day is bring back the F40 tanks to Alpha Fabrications. Yeah, this is an F40 tank. This is the aluminium version of the fuel bags. These are guaranteed for the life of the Ferrari. Yes, it doesn't mean your Ferrari F40 is classic anymore, but these will last forever. Your fuel bags, take them out, put them on side, keep them. And if you ever wanna sell your Ferrari, put them back in and you've got your classic back. Can Mr. Mr. Clashish get back to me and confirm that's okay? Anyway, here at Alpha Prefab, last stop of the day. Awesome days, Scoot, you had fun? That VXR8, yeah, it's not normal. And it's definitely not normal, but one of the top 25 cars I've ever driven. Really enjoyed it. See you in the next one.